Hi everyone, welcome back to Faith and Flower. I'm Robin. In today's video, I've got some everyday homemaking inspiration and cleaning motivation for you. My weekly cleaning routine video is the most popular video on my channel. And if you haven't seen that yet, I'll have it linked in the cards above and also in the description box below. Creating routines to keep our housework on track is one of the best tools we can have for making sure that things run smoothly each week. And so I stick to my cleaning routine. And so on Mondays, I wash all of our clothes. And so I sort the clothes out and get them kicked off. And while the washing machine is doing its thing, I'm free to get lots of other things done around our house, get work done, edit videos, answer emails, run errands, whatever else needs to be done. If you tend to do laundry each day, that is fine. Whatever works for you is great. But I just find that getting it all done early in the week helps me feel like I've accomplished the laundry for the week, even though I know it's still piling up each day. On Mondays, I wash all of our family's clothes and that takes me about four loads, but it really doesn't require very much work for me because the washer and the dryer do the bulk of it. I sort the clothes, I hang a few things to dry and I fold. And at the end of the day, everything's finished and I can check laundry off my list. I use a lot of microfiber cloths to clean our home. I'm a huge fan. If you've watched me for any length of time, you'll know how much I love e-cloth. And so I wash them all together in one load. And generally I will do that on Tuesdays when I do our other laundry, but I had accumulated quite a few because of all of the housework that I did at the end of the week this past week. And so I threw some in the day before and I just need to fold those quickly. It just takes a couple of minutes to do that to get them all put away. And now I'm ready for any other cleaning that I need to do with my e-cloths. On Mondays when I'm doing laundry, I'm really free for most of the day to do any number of other things because the washing machine and the dryer are doing most of the work, as I said before. So I will edit videos, I will film as I am today, I can make phone calls, answer email, I can even do errands. It doesn't really stop me from doing anything else that I need to do. And the only time that I need to sit down and actually do something is when I fold. And I look forward to that because I can watch a video, I can listen to a podcast, or have fun catching up with a friend. Another thing that just takes a few minutes of my time with the laundry is to remove the shirts from the dryer after about 10 minutes. Doing that helps keep our shirts looking better longer. They have less wrinkles and so I don't have to iron, so they look great when we're wearing them, but it also extends the life of our clothes because they're spending less time in the dryer, they're getting less wear and tear. After I remove the shirts and hang those to dry, I just let the rest of the laundry continue their drying cycle. And when they're finished, I'll take them out and fold them.
of our clothes that may need some steaming or ironing, I will set to the side, and I usually get to that on Tuesday or Wednesday. I also use a drying rack for more delicate items like our silk pillowcases, some nightgowns, jeans that I don't want to shrink, and things like that. Tuesday is the day that I take care of all of our sheets and towels, and if there's anything else that needs attention, I will take care of it that day. So I've got sheets in the washer right now. I've got some towels that are waiting to go in. I'm going to get the sheets off of our bed, and by the end of the day on Tuesday, my goal is to have as much of the laundry complete as possible for the week. This basket that we keep on our bed is the subject of many questions that I receive in the comment section. It just contains the remote controls. Patrick and I both like to have access to them and when we used to keep them in between our pillows, we sometimes accidentally rolled over and turned the TV on in the middle of the night. So this solved that problem and that's why we use it. Usually you guys are hearing me complain about how hot it is here in Central Texas. Well, right now we have weather in the 30s, which actually I'm loving. We don't usually get this kind of weather until January and February, so I'm really enjoying a little sneak peek of that, and I definitely think it calls for a nice cup of tea. This cold weather also put me in the mood for soup, and so the night before, I made a big pot of vegetable soup. I'm going to warm some of it up for lunch, but I also want to save some to freeze. I'm going to use this super cube container. This is such a great invention. It's made of silicone, and it has four compartments so that you can store away four servings of soup at a time. And so I just portion them out, I put the lid on, pop it in the freezer, and once they're frozen, I can take them out and put them in a Ziploc bag to keep in the freezer. And then when one of us wants a portion of soup, they can just take out as much or as little as they want. I've really been enjoying this and I put it in my Amazon store so if you guys are interested in getting one you can find it there. With the cold weather, we've also had three days of rain, and so I think it's the perfect time to do some fun indoor projects, and I just got my Simply Earth recipe box for November. Whether you are new to essential oils or you've been using them for years, the recipe box from Simply Earth is a monthly subscription service which will bring you four new oils each month, recipes and ingredients to make the recipes, all to help you use essential oils in new ways to create natural products for your home. Simply Earth also sells their essential oils individually. They are 100% pure and they cost a third of the major brands. The November oils are Lime and Love, which is a custom blend which is similar to Passion by Duterra and Joy by Young Living, also Nutmeg and Pine. Use my link in the description box along with the code Faith and Flower Free to receive a $40 gift card with the purchase of your first recipe box. 
The first recipe I'm going to make are love bath melts. This is so simple, but is going to be so nice to use in the colder months ahead. For this recipe, you just need one quarter cup of solid coconut oil and 10 drops of the Love Essential Oil Blend. In a double boiler on your stovetop, gently melt the coconut oil. Once the coconut oil is just melted, add the essential oils and stir to mix. Pour and divide the mixture into an ice cube tray. The square compartments of this ice cube tray are rather large, so this mixture just made about three. You could use a little bit less to make more or make a double batch. Put them into the refrigerator or freezer to help the coconut oil solidify. I'm also going to try the recipe for Winter Woods Candle. I love to make candles out of soy wax and essential oils. It's super easy. You will need one ounce of soy wax, one tablespoon of beeswax, a tablespoon of solid coconut oil, 14 drops of lime essential oil, 12 drops of pine essential oil, four drops of nutmeg essential oil, and a cotton candle wick plus a glass jar. Again, I'm using my double boiler to melt the soy wax, beeswax, and coconut oil together. Once the mixture has just melted, turn off the heat, add your essential oils, and stir. This recipe can be doubled or tripled to make any size candle that you like. Once everything is melted, you just simply put the wick in the bottom of your jar and pour in the hot wax. I like to straighten out the wick a little bit and then you just leave it on the countertop until the wax solidifies. If necessary, you can lay pencils or something similar across the top of the candle to keep the wick centered. In very little time, the bath melts are ready and they smell amazing. The Love Blend contains amorous, bergamot, sweet orange, and ylang ylang essential oils. These love bath melts will be so nice to use in the cooler months along with the winter woods candle and they would also make such great gifts for anyone on your Christmas list. Right after that, the sheets were finished in the dryer and I like to pull them out right away if possible so that they're not so wrinkled. And I also feel that it saves me a lot of time just to take the sheets off the bed, wash them and put them right back on in the same day. I do have an extra set of sheets for each bed just in case and I do rotate those in every month or two but I just don't like to fold sheets so this saves me that step and makes everything go a lot easier on the day I wash sheets. Back in the laundry room, everything that I hung up the previous day on my drying rack is dry and ready to be folded and put away.
All of our shirts are dry and ready to be hung in the closet as well. I only have a couple of items to iron or steam, so I'm going to do that too. While it doesn't happen just like this every week, this is my goal. At the end of day two of my weekly cleaning routine, the laundry room is reset. Everything has been hung in our closets, are folded and put away in our drawers, and I can check laundry off my list for the week. If today's video was successful in giving you some everyday homemaking inspiration and cleaning motivation, then be sure to give me a thumbs up. It really does help out my channel. If you're new here, I want to invite you to subscribe. It's easy. All you have to do is click on my picture. And if you'd like to see more videos, make sure you check out these. Thank you so much for spending your time with me today. I look forward to seeing you in the comments and in the next video. Have a great week.